Hello, so we're doing the aluminum book intro. So what are the motivations behind this? Is uh, to have higher quality than uh, ordinary paper books. And more eco-friendly. So how is that possible, you ask? So what we have here is one of the longest living uh, information storage devices uh, much, much longer life expectancy than your average hard drive which is like six years and flash drives four years half-life um, this has a hundred year half-life now this while we haven't done much testing we know that it's much less corrosion prone than paper um, it's waterproof and uh, well I don't know if it's fireproof but you, you can put it in a fire right I mean it's not too hot of a fire like because you can bake potatoes in the living room floor, right so therefore we we'll stand quite a bit of fire quite a lot more fire than this uh, also obviously more water and uh, it can survive just about any environmental circumstance that arises on the planet Earth. Um, it also is made from the most common metal on the planet, which is aluminum. It's, uh, yeah, aluminum. And clay is what holds stuff together, just like in clay tablets. Uh, and I have a demonstration piece right here the one of the first booklets that I made uh, it has some writing on it already um, as you can see and uh, there is a sl slight uh, skill involved in writing in these kinds of books and so how they are folded is that we, we fold the uh, shiny sides onto each other first because it's easier to read the dull side so you want to have the dull side on the outside um, and so when you write it imprints onto the shiny side well, like you write onto the dull side but then you get the inverted on the shiny side um, and if you don't have a buffer, uh, it could be a plastic or even metal, but it's a piece of paper. Um, so you, you put a buffer in between, and then you can write on it easily. Uh, and then it doesn't go through. So here, let's do a demonstration writing. Oh, and look at this pen, see? You don't even require ink. Um, this is just a wire, uh, metal hardware wire. It's been uh, looped a few times. So. See these loops, they kind of make it easier to hold. Um, and now I'm going to type uh, or write. <laughs> Hello world. Uh, you can't see there. Hello world. <clears throat> and so, how do we erase this? Is uh, we can just use our nail so you see it's turning complete medium you can read from it you can write to it and you can erase from it see look at that totally clean one shot oh <laughs> alright so um, I guess you've got most of it now um, there is also how it was made, right? 
Uh, so I threaded these together once I folded them. Uh, here I have a little demonstration piece of how you fold it. So you got the shiny side here. Right, and then the dull side over here. You can tell it's better in person, I guess. I'm looking at it. Um, so we fold it onto the shiny side. This is a relatively large piece of heavy duty aluminum foil. Cause, well, I just like this heavy duty aluminum foil, like I said earlier. It's, it's more firm. So you can do it with the cheaper um, spinner. And so see, I'm just folding it. Um, and so one, once we're folded to the like right size that we want. Um, what we do is, you see right here, it has these like places where it's folded. Uh, we just cut along these lines, like this, so that all of the pages are loose. And then uh, you can use them. There you go. It's that simple. Mm hmm. So um, another few things is the binding. So how do we make this binding? Is uh, I use hardware wire right here, since I figure if this is not, if you make it a nylon, and then uh, you throw it in a fire or something, then the nylon will melt. But uh, I mean, the chances of you throwing it in the fire are very low. Obviously, it's a book. You probably want to keep it on your shelf. But yeah, it makes it very hard to burn books. <laughs> so it is still possible, like aluminum. I, I've I've seen it degrade in like a very intense fire. It's possible. Um, and aluminum does have a thing point, of course, of course. Anyways, uh, another thing is that it's really thin. So let's compare. This has 160 pages, and this has 128 pages. You know, it's like so much thinner. But the one catch, the slight catch, is uh, that since the aluminum you can only write on um, it's effectively like half a page per actual page, so cause you go right to right. Um, so it's about 80 pages. Because each two counts as one page, one one double-sided page. Each page is one-sided <laughs> rather than double-sided, like right here. Um, yeah. So, but even if even if it, this was twice as thick, uh, it would still like twice as thick. You know. It would have the actual 180 pages. It would still be sh smaller than this. I'm pretty sure. Um. Yeah. So that's another benefit is the compactness. And uh, but yeah, as you can tell, I I use the nylon here, the nylon string, and it's it's quite good. I'm I'm thinking of maybe using a, a copper wire or something uh, just to make it all fully metal. Um, yep, it feels so good, it's so smooth, you know, it's so much smoother, it's like those, like, extremely high quality, like, photo finish papers, you know, and it's so much better too, uh, it's easier to write at night, and you can write upside down, you can write underwater, so, it's like, wow, 
can always carry it with you and uh you can go swimming with it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. <laughs> alright, alright. Yep, so have fun creating your own aluminum books. Uh feel free to